not so fun part of this is removing these broken off bolts here. So I'm going to try to drill them out and use some easy outs in them. That's in the end of the crankshaft there. Get the flywheel off. Very easy. This is probably the hardest part of the job is getting these little broken bolts off. Removing the transmission <clears throat> took about two hours. That's pretty easy on a 4104. It'll give you plenty of room. 4106 is a little tighter. <clears throat> a little more maneuvering to get it out, but 4104, they come right out. Both out. I just started to drill a little pilot hole in them. Took a little while. And then uh, just used this easy out, and they came right out. Obviously, there's no tension on them anymore, and they, they're not bottomed out, and they weren't really rusted in there, which I was a little concerned about rust making it hard for them to come out because the bolts that did come out had considerable rust on the threads. It doesn't look like they used peanut butter the last time they put it together either. Normally, you see that uh, Detroit International Compound number 2 that you have to put on there. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I got them out. There's no damage on the flywheel there or the crankshaft. We'll just get it all cleaned up real good and uh, be good to go. So I just did a real quick light cleaning on the flywheel and everything looks real good. See a couple little hot spots, a little heat checking, but it looks real good. So it's cleaned up enough where I'm going to take it to the machine shop now and let them go have a, have a go at it. Um, very little wear on it though, but they'll, they'll clean it up nice. This is the throw out bearing. Very crusty. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Not the way a bearing should sound. Uh, a lot of the problem was the remote grease fitting that's on here had come off. So the hose was just pumping grease everywhere inside of here. Um, and I think that's how some of that grease got on there. Plus there was some severe oil leaks on this engine a couple years ago. And there's a bunch of inspection hole covers. Um, like there's an inspection hole there that's not covered. And then on the transmission, there's one on the top that's not covered. And then somebody added this giant one here for some reason. Um, not really sure why they would have done that unless they were just trying to add that remote grease fitting from there. But now you could reach your arm all the way in there and do that. So the input shaft seal, that's not leaking. There's no transmission fluid coming out of there. So I just think oil from the big oil leaks in the engine that were you know vaporizing around back in that rear end because of all those access holes just let help that oil get in there plus that grease fitting not being in the right spot. The rear main seal wasn't leaking there was no evidence of that. Um, everything looks real good so we're gonna get this over to the machine shop today and then we got new, new parts coming in new seals uh, new clutch, the rot bearing, got to press that one out, pilot bearing, so all, all the parts that you want to change while you're in here we're going to get done and we should have this back together uh, in a couple days when our parts get here. Machine shop said about $85 to machine this flywheel so we'll see uh, if that holds true but not much. So we're going to push out this bearing here for the throw out bearing yeah. and I just put a couple of sockets around the outside of it and then I'll just use this seal installer and a couple hits with the hammer oh, yeah. oh, that's easy. and then just push the bearing right out so now we don't have to worry with messing with the press or anything oh, good. here I just knocked out the pilot bearing uh, using the same seal installer and just a couple hits with the hammer and Knocked it right out. You can almost use it as a spare tire. <laughs> Got to put it in Frank's car. Getting it from there to there. That'll be fun.
It had a, the plywood was loose on there. Two of the bolts were sheared off in the front end. Stand them up and blow them off. I don't think I can stand that one up. <laughs> blow it off. Yeah. <laughs> 